Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Hope you have a nice start to your week. As for me here, it's 26 degrees out Fahrenheit and snowy. We've got snow over everything. And uh, the city of Fairmont has not cleaned off roads all weekend. And I'll tell you folks, right off the bat, if you're thinking about moving to West Virginia, don't move to Fairmont. It's, it's, they overtax you on every little thing and then they don't do anything with it. They pocket it, I think. That's just my own personal opinion, though. Yeah, it's a college town, and the college kids tear it up, and they they don't do anything to the roads. There's potholes everywhere, and you name it. It's just not the greatest place to live. Believe me, if I could move outside city limits, I would in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Anyway, enough of my morning graping. <laughs> Maybe I'll grab a few shots of the road, though. As is, to show you all. The only way you've been up and down my road overnight here recently is if you've been walking. Because I see footprints going down the road in the snow, but that's about it. And I'm sorry I don't have a second segment set up for you today. Still... Got the last of the Christmas decorations put away, except the outdoor lights and stuff. And Albert's going to have to take those down. Probably when the weather gets better. Anyway, let's go and see what your card is today. And your tarot card of the day is... It's the seven of coins. And in case you're wondering, coins in this deck are the equivalent of the pentacles in your average tarot deck. Now, the element of this card is Earth. The astrological association is Saturn and Taurus. The number is seven. And this falls into the sphere of endurance, instinct, and desire. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of potential success. Now, the card's astrological association of Saturn and Taurus means endeavor. The influence of the taskmaster planet, Saturn, leaves no room for fantastical plans and proposals. Whatever you do, must be grounded, organized, and nurtured with consistent effort. The Kabbalistic meaning of this card is long-term dedication. The card's number is a mystical number seven. Seven is composed of three, the number of heaven, and four, the number of earth. So the challenge is to bring heaven down to earth to make your dreams reality. This reward comes from work, 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 and keeping your eyes on the prize. There's a goal in sight, and you are close to achieving it. But now is not the time to stop and reflect. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of doing, not philosophizing. So keep focus on what you want and believe you can achieve it. This effort may feel relentless, but your hard work will pay off. 
The card often comes up in readings to show the need to keep your focus on your career goals or to work through a particularly tedious stage in a current project that leaves you feeling tired and deflated. You might be tired of the restlessness of it all, but the reward will come as long as you don't falter. Also, the seven can show savings for a home or accruing funds and clients to expand a business. In domestic affairs, the Seven of Pentacles can show there's not enough money left for the little luxuries that make all the effort of saving worthwhile. Whatever your situation, keep going. You are nearly there, and in the future, you will thank yourself for your dedication. Constantly assessing your behavior and subsequent results is what allows you to grow into a better version of yourself. Keywords are patience, work, perseverance, building, and planning. All right. And since I don't have a second segment, let's leave you with a quotation. Some of our struggles involve making decisions, while others are a result of the decisions that we have made. Some of our struggles result from choices others make but affect our lives. We cannot always control everything that happens to us in this life, but we can control how we respond. Many struggles come as problems and pressures that sometimes cause pain. Others come as temptations, trials, and tribulations. That's by L. Lionel Kendrick. And this goes along with this next one. At the end of the day, you are in control of your own happiness. Life is going to happen whether you overthink it, overstress it, or not. Just experience life and be happy along the way. You can't control everything in your life, but you can control your happiness. Very true. That's by Holly Holm. Okay, going to make this last before the window steams up. But yeah, there's the road. No car tracks. It's probably icy underneath. There's, uh... Ooh. I see one car down there on the road. Uh, across the way there's a few, but I know the roads haven't been treated, so, yes, it's a mess, Fairmont's a mess, stay away, beware, beware, <laughs> so there we go, there's your reading and quote, quotes for the day. So, if you've got snow and bad weather out there, or even just cold weather, you take care of yourself. May you all have a blessed day. I know a lot of you all are going through some really tough stuff right now, and uh, here's prayers going out to each and every one of you that need it right now. So, until tomorrow. Peace, believe, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.